Hey, this is Bernadette with By the Book Accounting. I wanted to come on and give, create a short tutorial on a question that I get a lot. I see this a lot in my business and I know that lots of people have questions about it. And I want to show you how do you handle recording an expense in your QuickBooks file that you may have paid for on your personal account. So this is, I'm in QuickBooks Online, and this is actually the sample company, so I'm not sharing any of my clients' information. This is a fake company. So what you will do is go to your QuickBooks file, and you're going to create an account. I've already created it on my QuickBooks file, but you're going to create an account called Do To Owner. So let me just show you how you would create that account, and I'll just walk through it without saving it. So you come here, and you create other current liabilities and we're going to call it loans payable and then you would just name it due to owner and this is an account that says that this is money that the business owes you for expenses that you probably paid for personally so you would do save and close i'm going to do cancel because i already have it here um, and so the, here's your account and now you just come to the register and you enter your transaction and so you want to enter the transactions on the date that they occurred, even if it's from your personal bank statement. So if you have your personal bank statements, your credit card statements, you just enter them here. So let's say we're entering transactions from 2018. And so I'm going to put in 2018. I went to Office Depot and they are not on here. So we're going to add them as a vendor and I bought paper. And I spent $27.25. And the category is going to be office expense. And then I save. And then you just continue to do that as you're entering all of your transactions. So let's say on 3 18 18, I paid my Sprint bill accidentally. Um, and it was $252.47. And we say telephone. And you just continue to enter those transactions as they occur. Now, what happens when it's time for the business to reimburse you? Let me show you that real quick. You know, I like to keep my video short because I just want to get to the point. So here you would just cre come here and create a check. And that's if the business is reimbursing you. If the business doesn't have any money, they can't reimburse you yet. But when, when it happens, and then you just type your name in. So I want to type my name in. And I'll make myself a vendor. It's coming from my checking account. And today, I'm going to reimburse myself um, $200. So it's not everything, but we're going to reimburse it. So you want to make sure you select that due to owner account to reimburse yourself. Now here, you want to make sure you write the correct check number in here. If it's not a check and maybe you transfer the money from your business to personal, then you could just delete this field and leave it blank and we save and close. And I wanna just jump back here just to show you, you see how the balance decreased. So every time you um, add an expense to this account, it will increase the account. And as you pay yourself back, the account will, get, uh, will decrease. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, uh, let me know in the comments if this video was helpful to you. Alrighty, have a great one.